Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, King of Glory. We magnify your name, mighty man in battle. No one is greater than you. No one is wiser than you. Shalom to you, Mommy Clement. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Madeline Gabas, you're welcome. God bless you. Anthony M., I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Andrea Sweeta Coco, you're welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we bless your name. We give you glory. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for everything. Zapun Palata. Eko Barako Shakala Kinsika. We thank you, Lord, for this awesome weekend. We thank you for the month of January right up to the month of December. It can only be you, Jesus. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for everything. La bon shege bede bede bon sukalata. Magru sugabro shigada ban sukalata. Eko brasha gada ba sugabada ki yakasha. Zapen shapa. Ele prusa brisha. O liga bran sokoto lika pataka lika tasha. Father, we bless your name. We give you glory. We give you praise. No one is greater than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you. Remain the same. You are greater than what people say you are. You are mightier than what people say you are. We bless your name, King of glory. We adore you, the mighty man in battle. Lord, we come before your throne of grace, Lord, to obtain favor, mercy, and grace. We want to tell you how much we are grateful for the gift of life. Lord, let me know you. Jesus, let me see you. Holy Spirit. If that is the cry of somebody, then you're going to open your mouth and begin to talk to your father. The Bible says in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy and there is liberty. Lord, let me know you. Oh, let me see you. Holy Spirit, shikalata, shikalata. Lord, let me know you. Let me see you. Holy Spirit, Father, in you we live, in you we move, and in you we have a being. We are nothing without you, Lord. We are empty vessels. Lord, let me know you. Oh, let me see you. Holy Spirit, Abadaba Sukalata, Eko Brada Bashekelete, Maso Brada Lagoshi Galata, Dagoshi Kalata. You alone, you will live and ever be. Kadada Bosukalata. The Spirit of God is live and true and love. Then, Lord, let me see you. Jesus, please let me know you. Holy Spirit. We bless your name, Lord. We worship you. We worship you, Abba Father, for no one is wiser than you. No one can ever take your place for you. Remain the same. 
Iliga bron shagabada gon sukalata. Father, we thank you for what you're about to do in this session. I thank you for each and everyone that is present here. I thank you for their families. I thank you for their loved ones. I thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Eko badabi zabando do shaka. Elegrua konto do gon shapala kia kante. Ezokonto lo gon shapa. We worship you, Abba Father. We adore your name. Aliga bron sugabarua katia kante. Concha, Legruaco to the Gonsa Calacan Shaka, Baruaca Telecon Shakalakia Cata. We give you glory, mighty man in battle. No one can ever take your place for you remain the same. We worship you, Abba Father. We worship you, King of Glory. We worship you, the Master of the Universe. We worship you, the Provider of every good things on earth. Labro Shabada Basuka Balatia, Elecon Shabada Gadabon Sukaba Ruacatea, Elec Ruagadabon Shaka. Magorua kateke teke nsheke parua katea Ezokon tolo kon shaka Esu gabala kon shaka Thank you Holy Spirit of God We worship you Eko badaba sukalata Jua mi nyera Nyera tuzi Kadadadabasha Lord Oh jua mi nyera Nyera tuzi Oh, dress nearer, nearer to thee, Lord. Oh, dress nearer, nearer to thee. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I saw every day, find a dress nearer, dress nearer. Nyera to thee, ah, leko bada baba shika da basuka lata. Oh, take us deeper, deeper in you, Lord. Take us deeper, deeper in you, kada baba shika lata. E suka balata. Take us deeper, deeper in you, Lord. Take us deeper, deeper in you. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I saw every day, Father, take us deeper. Jesus, take us deeper, deeper in you. Kadabashi Galata, let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the aid. Let your glory be above all the aid. Let your glory be above all the aid. I will make my heart your dwelling place. I will be. Your throne in my life, Kabada Daba Sugalata. Come, Father, come, Son, come, Holy Spirit. Come and take your place in our lives. Kada Daba Shigada Dabasa, Iligron Shagaban Sikala Konshaka. I feel the anointing of the Lord, the God we serve is here. The Father we acknowledge is here. Father, we begin to thank you. We begin to acknowledge your presence. For no one is greater than you, Lord. No one can ever take your place for you. Remain the same. Legoban Shebedeban Sukapalata. Igo Jagadabo Sugabalata. Deka Shamanta Nakeyana Potola Kiana Bansha. Hele. Hele, hele, Jesus, now you start a move. You must finish a move. Hele, 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 now you start a move. You must finish a move. Kabada da bo sukalata. Afana no meiga. My beginning is in you. My end is in you. Our trust is in you. Kada da basu galata. Oh, you will never lead us to Adumu. 
You will never lead us to distraction. We choose to trust you blindly, even when we did not see the result. Jesus, now you start a move. You must to finish a move. Now you start a move. You must to finish a move. Jesus, now you start a move. You must to finish a move. Kada da ba sukalata. E sukabara ko shiga ba da ba sukalata. E kobra da da bo shiga ba da da bo sukabala ko shakalata. E sukalata. Our trust is in you, Lord. You will never lead us to your doom. You will never lead us to distraction. We choose to trust you blindly, even when we did not see the result. Jesus, now you start a move. You must to finish a move. Kada da ba suga ba da da bo shaka ile grande de bon shaga ba da da bo suga ba la kaya na tea eliga bro shiga ba da ko suga pa la kaya ta e suga ba da ka bo shiga la da da bo sha. You've been carrying me since I was a baby. Eh, Shabala Kayati, like grow grey hair, you will still preserve me. When my strength fail, your strength prevail. When my inspiration fail, your inspiration prevail. Ta the mention of your name. Helele, now you start a move. You must to finish a move. Hele, hele, now you start a move. Jesus, you must to finish a move. Ele, ele, ele. Now you start a mo. You must to finish a mo. Kada da basuka lata. We glorify your name, Abba Father. Kanda bo shakayata. Lord, without you, we are. Nothing, huh? Lord, without you, we are empty verses. We depend on you for the strength of life. We depend on you for everything. We bless your name, the God of the universe. We bless your name, mighty man in battle. Jesus, that started a good work in your life, will take it to completion in the name of Jesus. I bless the name of the Lord for each and every one of you that are connecting to this service. For distance is not. Not a barrier. Eko bada gia kan shaka. Zekon japen telekon shaka yanata. Iruaki da bon shaga bada kaya kon saka. E guazi gabran shigalata. The God we serve is an awesome God. The God who knows no sleep no slumber. The provider of every good things on earth. There is nothing too big for our God to do. There is nothing too big for Yahweh to do. Father Lord, your people have come before you again. Oli gabaruaka bin shaka. Debele con sukalata. Distance is not a barrier. Begin to make a prophetic declaration over your life. I decree and declare the good God that started the work in your life will take it to completion in the name of Jesus. God that started that good work in your life will take it to completion in the name of Jesus. God will not leave you have a kugada ba shigalata. E zugabande le koshakalata. E guzakina koshakalata. O gazi gadaban sheke. I begin to speak the light of God in your life. The Bible says the city built on the hill can never be hidden. Oh, you're going to shine like the light of the world. You want to shine like the light of the world. I make a prophetic declaration on that grace. God's hand is coming upon somebody right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord is coming upon somebody right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord is coming upon a family right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is touching that heart. I said the hand of God is coming upon somebody right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Yesterday is gone and today it's another day. Yesterday is gone and today it's another day. Yesterday was good for yesterday. The Bible says in Haggai, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than that of the former. I make a prophetic declaration on that grace. Whatever thing you have been expecting the Lord to do for you, God is showing up for you in the name of Jesus. Day by day, the Lord is showing up for you in the name of Jesus. In this month of December, I said the Lord is showing up for you day by day in the name of Jesus. The help of God comes upon you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. The provider of every good thing on earth, Lord, we adore you. Masse bele pen shaka. Ili grusa mani shapa nea koto. La grua se kobante kobra shiata. Eli ruana kana shepe. La guza bre sheke parua katea. Ele gruan sheke le teleko shaka. I said the hand of God is coming upon someone right now. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We bless your name for your wonderful. We thank you for an awesome session like this, Lord. Only you can do the things no man can do. Only you can change the life. Oh, Badabo Shigapalata. We bless your name, Abba Father. We give you all the glory and adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have worshiped. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Shalom family, shalom to everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from right now. God bless you. I welcome you in the name of the Lord. And if this is your first time, this is the atmosphere of possibilities with Sister Iris. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As you have come here, you are not going back the same in the name of Jesus. As you have come here, you are not going back the same in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, because you are the God. God that never forsake. You are the God that never forsake us in the name of Jesus. I welcome my lovely husband into this live session. Thank you so much for coming, Zikin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I see a lot of new faces here. You are welcome. And I thank you so much for being here. God will bless you. It wasn't a coincidence, but the Lord made it so. I bless your name. I bless you in the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Kabadaba shikalata. Zuka badibagalako shikalata. Esu gabalako shikalata. The Lord says, leave right now. There is nothing left for you. There is nothing left for you. Each time when the Lord comes with an instruction, it gives me peace and it gives me joy. Because you know what to do. Each time he gives an instruction, this gives me peace and gives me joy. Because you know what to do. Because sometimes when you sit and you don't hear the voice of the Lord, he began telling you of what to do about the prosperity, telling you about the blessings you're about to acquire. But when he gives you an instruction to leave, that there is nothing left there for you. It means it's an instruction for you to take it, King. But there is someone here that this instruction is for. And the Lord began teaching me, he says, most of the time, daughter, I have removed people into a mess that they find themselves into. I remove them. That is another way of delivering them from every issue that they got themselves into it. But at the end of the day, they find way to amend things by themselves. And they get themselves back into those things that he has struggled to remove you inside. He came, he began teaching me that there are some things you go through. It is not actually because he is not there, but because he wants to touch you that this thing you have been in, I want to remove you because this is not where you ought to be. But at the end of the day, you take your legs and you take your, your, your everything. You pack yourself back into the place the Lord has delivered you from. And when you find yourself there, you start receiving torment and everything. There are just some certain things you got to let it go. There are just some certain things you let you got to let it go. There are some certain things when you look at them, it is not going. The Bible says that by strength shall no man prevail. That by
my strength shall no man prevail. Each time when you start helping yourself, each time when you start putting in your own strength, definitely you will get tired. And definitely things might fail you because you are using your own strength to do those things. When you start using your own strength, it's going to break. You are going to break. Because why the Lord has delivered you from a place and you keep on carrying yourself into that place. And when you go there, God is no longer there with you. So actually what he does is just sit by a corner and watch you do what you, you want to do. And watch you do what you want to do. One thing that has killed a lot of human beings, has killed a lot of us, it is emotion. When you get into the house of the Lord, that is the reason why sometimes some people worship God out of emotion. And they began crying and they feel like this is the presence of the Lord. Emotion makes you break in tears. And you feel like this is the presence of the Lord. you got to understand the two. There is a time for emotion and there is a time for the Spirit of God. When you find yourself crying, when you find yourself doing some things and you don't know actually what trigger you to get yourself into those things. But when you talk about emotion, it's when you're worshipping God and you began thinking about what somebody has done to you. You began thinking about the health you began thinking about your tired, you being tired, and you start crying. That is a part of emotion. Like you stirred up your emotion by thinking of the past, by thinking of what you have been through. But whenever you stir up emotion and you start thinking of what the Lord has done for you, you start thinking about what the Lord has done for you from the time He picked you from the slums and take you to where you are today. And you began feeling yourself, and you're like, Lord, I give you all the glory. Father, I thank you because from the month of January, Right up to the month of December, I am still living healthy. I am still living very fine because it is by your grace. And Father, I will keep glorifying your name. I will keep worshipping you. That is the thing we are talking about. At that side of the, that place, there is not emotion in it. Because you began seeing God. You began picturing everything. We talk about being compassionate. You know, being compassionate for somebody is when you see something and your heart cannot let you rest. You don't want to see somebody cry. You don't want to see when they are tormenting somebody. It gets right into you like a spear into your heart. You just get into tears like what is happening there. That is the compassionate spirit that the Lord has put into his children. That when you see some things are happening and when you see evil, you don't want to stay around that area. All you want to do is to shun that evil. All you want to do is to rebuild the people that are doing the things that is not right in the eyes of the Lord. But sometimes some people got to attach a motion to it and they are crying. Never forget about the differences. The Lord says, there is nothing left for you there. So leave right now. There is nothing left for you there. So leave right now. The reason why you procrastinate your blessing, it is because you keep looking behind, you keep looking into your past like it's far more better than where you are going to. No, 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 honey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yesterday can never be better than your tomorrow. Your tomorrow is ever brighter because you don't know what the Lord is promising to give you. You don't know what is ahead of you. All you need to do is to exercise patience and keep going. And what makes people to run behind and go back to their past, it is because they don't want to exercise patience. It is because they don't want to be patient and see what the Lord has for them in store. Whenever you are patient, you will see the goodness of the land. Wherever you are patient, God will bless you and reward you accordingly. And you being patient is by you serving the Lord in truth and in spirit. It's by you serving the Lord with all your heart, with all you, everything. That is what the Lord requests of us. He says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. He did not say you should seek him. He did not say just seek this particular thing. He says, seek first the kingdom of God. He did not say seek him second, which means there are some Sometimes you got to put that thing first. There are sometimes you put that family first. You say, no, my family first. After when I'm done with my family, then I can go seek the face of God. You are making a mistake each time when you do that. God is going to take you something that is precious there. And you're going to feel the impact. You're going to feel the pain. It's either the family crumble or it's either something happens to it. But when you learn how to put God first, then will, everything will come. Everything will fall into place. Any other additional thing, the Lord will add it to you. Fame come by adding. Your, the fame people are craving for, it comes by adding. Financial breakthrough comes by adding. Everything that you have been praying and believing God for, it comes by adding. But you got to start with the number one principle, by seeking him first. There is nothing left for you there. You got to live right now. Did the Lord set you free from that relationship you were in? Did the Lord set you free from it and you'll find yourself back there because you feel like 
There is, there are no good men out there and there are no good ladies out there. You got to creep yourself into something that will kill you in the future. You got to creep yourself into something just to prove point to people. Let me tell you something, great people of God. What I came to understand is that when it comes to the people of the Bible, the people of the old, they never prove themselves to anyone. That is the same ideology that Hannah started using. Hannah started using to prove herself to her co-wife Penina. She wanted to prove herself that she is not barren. From the time she began trying to prove herself to Penina, things become worse. And she looks at at her serve. She will get up like this middle of, at the night and pray to God. Father, you know I am not buried. Please bless me with the child. And when she began talking to God in that manner and like, I want to prove to Penina. And God was so silent about it. When she made up her mind to go to the temple and meet God face to face. And she began praying on the temple. The Bible says she prayed and offered what to God until she was groaning in her world and she could not offer what anymore. She was praying and it was like she was already drunk in the realm of the spirit because now God has taken over her strength has taken over her motives and now words began flowing things began moving and she started looking at herself and God now start triggering her and tell her what to do next and this is her statement she says Lord if you give me a child and I will give it back to you but at first her statement was Father I want to prove to Penina that I am not barren God says since you want to prove to Penina you will remain like that with no child but her confession changed as soon as she encountered God. When she encountered God, her confession changed. No more motives, no more anything. Lord, if you give me, oh, Shabbat, Shabbat, Lord, if you give me a child, I will give it back to you. If you give me a child, I promise I will give it back to you. No motives, no string attached. You know, I will not, he, she did not say, I will give it to my husband. He says, she not say, I will give it to my co-wife, Penina. He says, if you give me a child, Lord, I will give it back to you. Then why would God not give her a child? And it says the Lord blessed her with a handsome son called Samuel. And that is how her life started flourishing and everything. And from there she could pick her broken pieces. She could pick everything that was broken. She could reside back in her marriage and everything. Everything about Penina dies as from that moment. We not hear about any of her children. We not hear about her anymore. But that of Samuel up to today we keep hearing about Samuel. That is to tell you that there are some things. You don't do them to prove yourself if the Lord has saved you out of it. You don't get yourself engaged to it because you want to tell people how wonderful you can do it. Number one, the Lord, the first concern the Lord, con that is called concern about you. Are you happy, my daughter? How would this thing please the Lord? This thing that you are doing, how is it going to please the Lord? When you find it pleasing the Lord, it means you are on the right track. When you find it so fulfilling, it means that you are on the right track. It's each time when you do something for God and you don't see the fulfillment in it, it means you are not you are not accomplished purpose the word the lord wants you to it means you are not accomplished purpose the way the lord wants you to each time when you do something and it is not it's not it is not good and, and, and you look at it and you say oh god is, is this thing i'm doing is, is for me or i just want to tell the world that i can do it <laughs> each time when you find yourself in that situation you got to play god for deliverance you got to beg god for deliverance and says father please help me save me from myself save me me from myself. Serve me from myself, Lord. May I do things because of you. May I do things acknowledging by putting you first. Uh, that thing that he delivered you from and you went back into it. Uh, that is the reason why you are standing where you are standing. As I'm talking right now, it's reflecting to somebody. God is bringing things back to your memory and you're seeing yourself in the things that the Lord has set you free from it. Uh, but you automatically, you took your legs and everything and you find yourself back into that thing. Uh, there is still grace available for you. There is still the grace of mercy of God available for you. I make a prophetic declaration on that grace. What the Lord does not want you to be. Where the Lord does not want you to be. You are leaving that place right now in the name of Jesus. Where the Lord does not want your family to be. Your family is living out of that atmosphere right now in the name of Jesus. Where the Lord does not want you to establish. God is setting you free from that area. God is setting you free from that area. In the mighty name of Jesus. House of Counseling and Prayers with Pelagi. You're welcome, woman of God. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. God bless you, great woman of God. Thank you so much. You know, at time, it's not easy for you to wake up at this particular period of time in, in my country. This is the time people are really sleeping, but it's not easy. But she's here. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Where the Lord has set you free from. Do not carry yourself back there. Do not take yourself back there. Do not carry yourself back where the Lord has delivered you from. All you need to do is start, look, is to start looking how to keep moving, to keep pressing, to keep see if you can win what the Lord is asking you to. But each time when you look at it like your past is better than your future, it means there is something you're doing so wrong. And there are some things when God saved you from them. You look at it as if God does not like you. You cry and you say, Lord, why me? Why is it that this thing did not work out? Father, why is it that this thing did not work out? Why is it that this thing did not actually work out? The Lord is telling you, my daughter, my son, I did this thing for your favor. I did this because I love you so much. But you feel like, no, God doesn't love you. You are feeling like God does not love you. You feel like, oh, it is because of this thing I did. That is the reason why the Lord is punishing me. No, God does not have the capacity to punish his children. God does not even have the infantry. He doesn't have a bit of it to punish his children. Oh, he wants to see in you. Oh, he wants you. Oh, he wants to see his glory upon you. He wants to see you dwelling in great places. See you dwelling in his light, in his presence. That is what the Lord wants from you, for us. That is what he wants for us. But each time when we find ourselves in a situation, he's saving us from that situation. We start asking him questions. We start doubting the God we are serving. We start putting question mark to every, every prayers we have made before him. But I make a prophetic declaration over your life. What is need for the Lord to save you from? God is saving you from right now in the name of Jesus. You will not fall a victim anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. And whatever the Lord has delivered you from, you are not going back into those doom in the mighty name of Jesus. He will never lead you to your doom. The God we serve is guarding you and is ordering your steps daily. I pray for you on that grace. You will not carry yourself back into the place that the Lord has saved you from. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you want to do that, I pray on that grace. May God, don't, may, may God not allow you to carry yourself back into that area. In the mighty name of Jesus. What the Lord has set you, saved you from, do not carry yourself back into those things. In the name of Jesus. There is nothing left for you there. There is nothing left for you there. Live right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Kabada Basukalata. At this my little age when I, I, I when I was still back then in the secondary school. And when we're like, okay, when I, when I find myself in one relationship, I'm like, okay, God. I know this is my bus stop as, as, as teenage as we are. We thought that maybe we have arrived. And everything we could do at that particular point in time is to see what is ahead. And we keep pressing in the wrong places. And whenever I get into such places, I want to put in my all. That requires you a lot. It requires you your strength. It requires you everything you can ever think of. You are know, investing, your, investing your time and everything. And the past relationship, if they told me that one of those guys, I would never end up with them, I would have says, no, Lord, it's a big lie. There is a way you get into a thing, and there is this feeling you feel, and you know very well that you cannot settle with this person, regardless of the thing that you are in with that person, no matter the bond, no matter what. And God starts showing it to you, and he finds a way to take you out of that, those areas, and you are seeing yourself like, no, God, I know you can do, you can do it for me. God does not do things like that. You got to put him first. You got to listen to every instruction he gives you. If he doesn't want you in a place it save you away from that thing that thing is never free each time when you think about that thing your heart is beating fast how can god give you something and then give you worries it don't it doesn't work like that is that god that blesses and act no sorrow how can you feel that god blesses you with something and then you are having a lot of worries in your mind that is not god when god bless you he bless you and makes you settle when God bless you, he bless you and establish you in such a manner that he bless you and establish you with peace in your heart. 
Whenever you think about that thing, you have no worries. Because you know that the Lord got your back. But whenever you think about that thing all the time and you are worried, it means that there is something wrong. Because God cannot give you something and add worries to it. The Bible says he blesses and add no sorrow. Which means there is not going to be worried among the things the Lord has blessed you with. He blesses and add no sorrow. Whenever he blesses you, you feel fulfilled and you feel confident with what he has given you. Wherever you don't feel confident, oh, God, it's like you're losing something. It's like you did it by your strength and you're going to press the Lord to do things for you. And he did it permissively, which means you're going to stay like that the rest of your life. Then why can't you just wait for the time that the Lord has given you for your time to reign in order for you to reign in the will of God, not in the permissive will of God? It's when you think about it and you get worried. It means there is something that is not actually right. I pray for you on that grace. Wherever the Lord has set you free from, you are not going back into that place in the name of Jesus. What the Lord has set you free from, you are not carrying yourself back into that place in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord somebody. God has just spoken to somebody tonight. The Lord has spoken to somebody tonight. The Lord has just touched the heart of somebody tonight. The Lord has just touched the heart of somebody tonight. Let me tell you something, great people of God. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy and there is liberty. As long as you continue to dwell in the presence of the Lord, you will know no stress. You will know no, you will know, you, you will know no worries. Because the Lord has established his mind in you. He has established whatever thing it takes. And you carry the nature of God inside of you. And the Lord himself can never disappoint you because it's the God that keeps to his word and his promises. If it does not manifest yet, just wait for the giving at the appointed time. It's going to manifest in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 3, there is a time for everything. There is a time for everything. Definitely God will make your time come to pass. And when it's your time, people will gather and celebrate with you because it is your turn. When it's God's time, when it's God's time for you, everything will fall into place in the name of Jesus. I bless the name of the Lord. His blessings comes upon you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Your week is blessed. As you start this week, whatever thing you touch is blessed. You're going out and coming in is preserved. Everything, good news is the only thing you're permitted to share. I say good news is the only news you are permitted to share. And this month, you will keep on celebrating in the name of Jesus. The strength of the Lord is coming upon somebody right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord is coming upon the heart of somebody right now. The peace of the Lord is sinking into the heart of somebody right now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Restoration is coming upon that family right now. In the name of Jesus. Restoration is coming upon your children right now. In the name of Jesus. Restoration is coming upon that marriage right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. Go ahead and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Your week is blessed. You are preserved. Your going out and coming in is preserved. As you drive on the highway, God will preserve you in the name of Jesus. As you use whatever um, 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 means you're going to use by traveling, God is there with you in the name of Jesus. God is there with you at every given point in time. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you for this awesome session. We thank you for the blessings, for it is permanent over our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for giving us direction. We are not going back to our yesterday because we know our future is brighter. Father, we keep on asking for strength. Why we keep on depending? Because we know you will see us through. You will take us far in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you, family. God bless you. Andrea Sweeta Coco, God bless you for your seed. I receive your seed in the name of Jesus. God bless you for your seed. May God replenish you financially. I pray where the seed is coming from, may God increase you financially in the name of Jesus. I pray you will not repeat the same mistakes. You will not repeat your mistakes in the name of Jesus. God is setting you free from every mistake, from everything he has set you free from. You will not find yourself in them in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. And you feel like you want to give your offering, you want to pay your tithe, you want to sow your seed, you want a partnership and say, Woman of God, I love what you're doing here. I want to be a partner in this ministry monthly. Just go ahead and do it as the Spirit leads you. Please, as the Spirit leads you. God bless you. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forever. And surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life as you dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Yes, Violet, you will not repeat your mistakes in the name of Jesus. You will not repeat them in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, if you're sending it through cash app, you indicate for Sister Iris. If you're sending it through cash app, you indicate for Sister Iris. If you're sending it elsewhere, make sure you indicate here so that I pray for you, okay? It is very important. God bless you, great people of God. Let God bless you. Let's say a lot of prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as you give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Anthony M., God bless you for your seed. Di Badaba Shikalata, God bless you for your seed. God is showing up for you in the name of Jesus and you will not repeat the same mistakes. You will not repeat the mistakes that the Lord has delivered you from. In the name of Jesus. You will not find yourself into the things that the Lord has set you free from. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sukalata. God will set you free from every little trap that the enemy has planned against you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Shibadaba Sukalata. I pray God's preservation power over your life, over your family. You are preserved, you are protected. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, I see the Lord touching the family here. I see the Lord touching the life of someone here. I see the Lord giving you direct instruction. I see the Lord preserving you and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. We bless you, King of Glory. We bless your holy name. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you, Lord God, for the blessings we have received. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I bless your night. As you go back to bed, God's hand is coming upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nahomi Hadi. Nahomi Hadi, I pray for you. That expectation that you have laid before God's feet. The Lord says, December will not end without him giving to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. December will not run to an end without him giving you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kabada go shikalata. Mam faith kinya, God bless you. Violet Brule, God is showing up for you and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kabala go shikalata. Royal priesthood. Royal priesthood, I pray for you. God's intervention. Eko balaka shikalata. God's intervention. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless your family. I love you so much. I love you. Your night is blessed. I pray for great encounters and great deep revelations. As you go to bed tonight, what you cannot hear, the Lord tells you audibly. He is bringing it to you through your vision land. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is bringing it to you through your vision, in the mighty name of Jesus. That idea, that business idea, that idea you have been praying to God to give you, as you sleep, you wake up tomorrow morning, you will be so fulfilled because the Lord will give you exactly what your spirit will correspond to. I pray for you. As, the God, as, 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 God brings, um, as God brings his glory over your life, you will shine it through this mankind. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I love you, family. I got to go. God bless you. Your week is blessed. This week you will testify in the name of Jesus. Help comes to you day by day. The help of God is coming to you day by day. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, Nancy. God bless you. And may God increase you in every sign. In the name of Jesus. The help of God is coming upon you day by day. In the name of Jesus. The Lord says he is answering a prayer. The Lord says... He has answered that prayer. I don't know who the Lord is talking to, but the Lord says he has answered that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord says he has answered your prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not worry anymore. He has answered, he has heard your cry, and he has answered it in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, family. I love you so much, and I will see you tomorrow.
God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Shalom.